Planet Earth. It sure is beautiful, and it's also very unique and special, because under its thin atmosphere, it supports life. But there's a problem. Did you know that the Earth is sick? It's come down with a fever. In fact, the last 10 years were the hottest ever recorded. This never-before-seen warming is part of something scientists call rapid climate change. But what could cause our whole planet to get sick? And what is climate, anyway? Have humans played a role in changing it? What's bad about rapid climate change? And how can we stop it from getting worse? In this video series, we're going to answer these questions and more. First, we'll explore some climate basics, so you can understand the important difference between weather and climate. We'll take a close look at a gas called carbon dioxide, which is really piling up in our atmosphere and is a huge part of the climate change problem. Next, we'll look at the work of scientists around the globe who've gathered tons of evidence telling us the Earth is rapidly warming up. Then we'll look at the effects of this warming from Utah to Vermont to Russia to Uganda. Nearly everywhere, more extreme weather, bigger storms, and higher temperatures are threatening the things we take for granted, like having water to drink and reliable places to grow food. We'll even look at what rapid climate change is doing to the oceans. Rapid climate change is a big problem, but we'll take a look at how together we can avoid the worst effects in the future. As you'll learn, the answer lies in figuring out ways we humans can have a smaller impact on the planet and lower the amount of carbon dioxide our bustling cities and towns release into the air. By making good choices now, the nations of the world can stop rapid climate change from getting worse. And while they're at it, they can help create millions of great new jobs for people doing things like getting power from the sun and making cars that run on electricity. Most importantly, you'll learn how you can be a part of the solution too. In your everyday life, you can do small things that help reduce the Earth's fever and make it well again. So let's get started. 